So the Talking Difference project is a three-year project at Museum Victoria designed to spark dialogue about cultural diversity. In this second year of the project, we've been really focusing on this portable studio, uh, which we're touring around to libraries at the moment. So as people enter the interactive, that they have questions posed to them by uh, young people from the community in Brimbank, and then they can respond with, with videos, with uh, text, with audio or with drawing, which they create in the pod itself. Both me and my friends have never left Australia. We've always stayed in, um, well, pretty much Victoria, our whole life. So, so we really don't know what it's like out of this country. The questions were developed over five workshops with a team of young people in Brimbank. Um, the way we approached it was to open up the ideas in an open discussion, um, about cultural diversity and what, what the young people's own experience was of, uh, of cultural diversity and cultural difference. What really got my attention was that mm. last bit. Yeah. It was really intense. Come on. Huh? How, how's the way You cried about being in Mount Say. If I were you, I'd be practicing my English. Hey, hey. Can you hear the sound of it? You're a bit loud. I've been in trains where like peak hour, five o'clock you know how it's squish and like there's a lot of noise, mm -hmm. especially from students and stuff. The students will be talking and I'll pick up a phone and i start talking my language. Some guy will come to me and tells me, oh, you're, you're talking to one and I'm like, they talking a little bit loud, how come yeah. you don't come to them? From there, we spoke with the young people about uh, the best ways that they'd like to spark dialogue. So how, how, how they would phrase things, how would they best like things phrased to them? So um, is, is it me, me coming to Australia does that mean I should forget my language and everything else? Hmm. That's the question I would ask personally because I want to know. Yeah. Language is very important to me because it's who I am. So if someone telling me to forget that, it's almost as if they tell me to forget myself. On the other side, there was a place where it says this children was trying to create a character for this game on the internet. And um, the mother asked, what hair colour do you want? She said blonde. And uh, the mother asked, what skin colour do you want? And she, res she responded, normal. Yeah. And it got me thinking, what's normal? Like, mm. it got me thinking myself, I'm like, I, I looked at myself, I'm like, am I normal? Is this what normal is? I don't know. And I looked at you guys, I'm like, is that normal? <laughs> and I just like, it, can't, it kind of got me, thinking and stuff like that. The young people developed a list of questions they'd like to pose and then in collaboration we, we, we produced the short videos that are in the studio today. What is normal? Are you normal? Are you happy and proud about your colour? Do you wish you could change your skin colour? <laughs> 